if you got the victory, clap your hands. Come on. Ah. Thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. We certainly appreciate your staying for these moments that are so special to the church of the living God. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. All of our help <laughs> comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. So glad to have co-consecrators with us this morning, our dear brothers in the Lord Jesus Christ and sons as well, Bishop Felton Obess. Sanctuary of faith and glory. Appreciate them sacrificing his time. Bishop William McKissick, Jr. Amen. <laughs> Jerusalem Church Ministries in Meriden. Amen. Well, let us stand for prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time of consecration. Yes, Lord. Thank you that your hands are laid on this thou your servant, Apostle Justice Coco Bentil. Yes, Lord. Let your glory be upon him. Let your favor be upon him. And let your presence be perpetually with him. We ask this in the name of the Father, and the name of the Son, and the name of the Holy Spirit, and all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Please remain standing as we read collectively the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, one God the Father, the, the Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, earth, of all, all that, that is seen or unseen. We, we believe in one Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only Son, Son of God, eternally, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light, light from light, true God, God from true God, begotten, God, not made, one, one in being with the Father. Through him all things were made, made for us men and for, men and and for our ourselves. salvation. He came, came down, down from, from heaven, heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. He, he became, became incarnate from the Virgin, Virgin Mary, Mary and, and was made man. Made for our, For our sake, sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried. On, on the third day, he arose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into the heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through his purpose. We believe in one holy universal church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You may be seated. Have you received the mandate from the Holy Synod? We have. Well, let it be read. Mandate of consecration in the name of God. Amen. Let it be known to all here present that in the month of October, in the year of our Lord, 2012, preliminary discussions commenced between representatives of the International Bishops Conference and the Kingdom Power Family International to seek ways of intercommunion and full relationships between said churches. Such discussions having been fully successful, completed on October 21st, 2012, and a writ of concord agreed to. The Synod of the International Bishops Conference in full consultation has mandated that Justice Kojo Bentil be elevated to the rank of prelate on the 21st day of October in the year of our Lord 2012. Amen. Thank you so very much, Bishop. As you're aware this morning, ladies and gentlemen, because we've had a long service, generally this service 
which is very ceremonial and ritual, and its content takes almost three hours. And, of course, I've said we have abridged it, but we do not make light of it, and the value of it is even more significant. Bishop elect, come this way, please. And would you please uh, bow on your knees? Let me have your hands, son, in front of you, both of them together. I want you to know this morning, saints, you cannot really see what we're doing, but we are tying his hands. And in tying his hands, this is indicative of the fact that in this bishopric and holy work, we are intricately tied together. We are bound to each other. And we're bound to the church. And we're bound even more so to the church and to you because we are bound to Jesus Christ. It is he who makes all of the difference in the world. In this order, which we do not talk about publicly, unlike many orders, there is one thing in particular that we ask of all of our bishops. If you don't do anything else, and he does this, and that is to stay in intercommunion. Intercommunion is so important. The word of the Lord says that you already know it. If we walk in the light, as he is the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all unrighteousness. We are bound together. Open your hands, please. We already know this. Your hands are holy. Your hands are pure. Your hands are sacred. Your her hands hold the holy word of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. You know, when the prophet Samuel came to the house of Jesse, he was looking for the right one, the one to be anointed king of Israel. And you remember that his father had his brothers to come in and he thought because of their countenance, of their height, that they were the ones. But the scripture says, the oil would not pour. But we say to you this morning, in the name of the Lord Jesus, receive. receive the Holy Spirit. He 
He's the all empowering agent we have to lead us, to guide us, to teach us, to bring all things back to our remembrance. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Stand next to you, bro. Because of the power vested in me and in us, in a moment, these gentlemen are going to put your vestments on, and just before they put them on, Bishop Bess, are you going, Bishop? Where are we? It is truly worth and just, right and profitable unto salvation that we should at all times and at all places give thanks unto thee, O God, who gave instruction unto Moses, thy servant, concerning the nature of sacerdotal vesture that you did order that Aaron, thy chosen one, should wear during the sacred functions. Therefore, we beseech thee, O Lord, let these vestments Remind him and us of your calling. May they signify that which must shine forth from his life and his character and his actions. Fill up in thy servant who is called to minister unto you the perfection, the perfection of thy ministry and sanctify him again we've already done with the dew of thy heavenly ornament. Just below it. Okay. 